Testing, testing, one, two, three. How we doing? I think that's coming through. How about a little little game audio for you? How's that? Is that obnoxiously loud or just good enough? I feel like it's too loud for me, but it might be good for the stream, which is an annoying situation to be in. Audio is hard, guys. We may have to tweak it once people start talking. Uh... Yeah. Alright, maybe we should go. Maybe we're ready. Alright, folks. It's your old pal, Myriad Trues. Welcome to uh, part one in what I hope to be an ongoing series where I play through all of Torment, Tides of Numenera, is I think how you say that. <laughs> what a terrible subtitle. Uh, but what a great original game that this is apparently a spiritual successor towards. Um, I did a, like a like a short video on this when it first hit early access last year. Uh, I remember very little about it other than wishing it would come out as a full and complete game as soon as possible so that I could play it. And now it's done that. Uh, so we're going to play it together. Um, Tor Planescape Torment, I would say, is probably... If it's not my favorite game of all time, I would say it's the best game of all time. Or if it's not the best game of all time, I'd say it's my favorite game of all time. I'm not sure which of those two is true. Uh, but I regard it as an insanely good video game. Uh, if you haven't played it yet, you might just be kind of fucked, to be honest, because it's... It hasn't... The gameplay has not aged well in Planescape Torment. The visuals have not aged well in Planescape Torment. Uh, the only thing in Planescape Torment that has aged well is the writing, which I consider to be immaculate. Um, and But trying to play that game now just to get to the writing is a... It's a lot to ask. Uh, I've been wanting to do something with Torment for a long time. I thought about maybe asking Aquila to come back and let me watch her play it and yell at her. But it's just kind of the game where you can't really... If you want to get the most out of Planescape Torment, you kind of have to go in with a plan and know what you're doing. Um, so watching somebody play for the first time, I would I would just be annoyed, I think, because I'd be like, ah, fuck, they didn't put 17 points into Wisdom, so they're not going to be able to have this conversation or whatever. So I thought about doing a Let's Play of it myself, but then it was like, um, you know, I it, it wouldn't be a good example because I would play it as an extremely specific way the way I like to play Torment um and yeah I don't know I don't know if that would be interesting I don't know if I would want to commentate that I would kind of rather just have you experience it so I started doing the audiobook thing which I intend to keep up with I know I've been slacking on that uh I'm hoping maybe this will encourage me to this will make me want to go back and look at some Torment stuff, so maybe I'll do like an episode of this a week and a chapter of, of the audiobook a week. That would be great. We'll see if I can keep up that production. Uh, but yeah, so Planescape Torment's great, and this is a spiritual successor to that game, so we're asking... That's like a high fucking bar. <laughs> so <coughs> if this game isn't spectacular, then uh, I'm going to be really upset. But I think it might be, so... Uh, let's, why don't we get into this shit? Uh, just one quick note, I'm playing it in 4K, and right now that seems to be alright. Like, I'm getting 60 FPS in the menu, but who knows how that's gonna work out. Uh, so, if there's technical problems with these first few episodes, then, uh, I may switch back to, to 1080. Like, it, it shouldn't look any different for you folks, since this is going out in 720 anyway, but... Uh, if it looks a little shitty and bad, then sorry. It's probably because I'm playing it in 4K and don't know what I'm doing. So, here we go! Oh, good. Yeah, I remember from 
what I played of it in early access that there was a somewhat extensive character creation system. It's it seemed a lot more robust than torments. Just like this is you dump some points into these stats and and you're on your way. Um, I don't know. What do you guys think? I think I might. I usually play as female characters when it gives me the option, uh, just because I'm like, well, if I'm gonna stare at a character for 40 hours, then let's have it be something with some curves. But uh, yeah, you know what? I think I think Duder is the way to go here. Your mind wakes in darkness. Oh shit! Voiceover. Let me know if you guys can hear that. By the way. Your body. A distant howling surrounds you. Louder with each passing second. Insistent and invisible hands slap and tear at the membrane that protects you. Your first emotion is an involuntary and formless panic. You feel you have forgotten something, something important. As if it once meant the world to you, but the details slip away as you grasp at them. You guys can hear that, right? You force your eyes open. I guess if you can't, there's nothing I can do about it without interrupting this conversation, but... Uh... Okay. I'm gonna look at this body I got. Wait, you are wearing a form-fitting suit of some dark material. You recall that you were wearing something much more elaborate a short time ago. You have smooth, light brown skin. Five fingers... Oh, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a brown a skin guy. Good muscles. Strong, but not bulky. And slim hips. Your palms are soft, as if they have not done much labor. Accurate. But scars and burns on the hands and wrists suggest that you haven't always been careful. Also accurate. Why can't you remember this? Okay. Well, except for the 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 skin color, this seems to have nailed me to a T. The cocoon that surrounds you shreds and tears away. You are falling. Above you, a small moon is slowly collapsing in on itself. The world is many kilometers below you. Uh oh. A small moon? Is Brianna Wu up there chucking rocks? Um, shit, this is some wind. Uh, what do we do, guys? I don't want to. I don't want to crash. Uh, how far is it? Guess that you started at least 100 kilometers above the ground, assuming you fell from a dying moon. That is, you've been blacked out for some time now, and now it looks like you're perhaps 50 kilometers up, maybe less. Uh, okay. I feel like it might be critical to remember how we got in this situation. It's, it's hazy. You were in a tall passageway. Its sides slicked with dew. The air warm and moist, as if you were caught in the breath of a giant organism. You remember fleeing in fear and exhilaration, laughing through the terror. What was it that pursued you? Something uh -oh. ancient and cold. Its coiling power, the promise of oblivion. Its shadowed tendrils struck at you, and the walls where they landed were torn apart utterly, destroyed beyond any hope of repair. You leapt into a membranous cocoon and fell from the... the station. The moon. And then, you were empty. But who I fell you? from the moon. I'm gonna hit with the power of, like, a hundred nuclear bombs, guys. And you seize it before it vanishes. Sorrow. The world fills your sight. You're about to hit. The sorrow. The best Metal Gear Solid boss fight in the history of the franchise. I love remembering the sorrow. To recall, but you push past it, a creature of the forgotten world seeking you out across the centuries. But it's not you it seeks, is it? It sought the man whose memories you shuffle through now, and you realize suddenly that you are not him. What? You were... who? Who were you? Uh... Maybe we should do something about the fall situation, I feel like. for you to grab hold of, and the resistance of your body can only do so much against the insistent grasp of the earth. As you vainly try to grasp at the air, cupping your hands, you can see the watery grave that lies ahead of you. Okay, it's water. You can fall really far into water, right? Wait, you plummet toward a dome. Can you die from falling in water too fast? And a strangely blurred woman and a man. I guess people jump off bridges, right? Does that kill you? Outstretched arm enfolding you, but it's too late. You were falling too fast. With a sickening thump, you destroy the glass structure, 
you hear some strange engine howl as its balance is forever altered. Oh, I didn't fall into water. Shit. I didn't fell into glass. That seems like maybe the worst thing you could fall into. Whoops. Oh shit. Is this crisis? Oh, you guys can't see my mouse, can you? Uh, hold on. I realize my mouse cursor is hidden on the the stream. How about how about now? There we go. All right. Uh, I'm getting 30 FPS. It seems to be functional at 4K. All right, good deal. Oh shit! That's a goddamn interface. Oh boy, okay, uh, so there's this bowl, liquid's fallen, the bowl remains dry. Uh, why don't we check out this bowl? It's gonna be tricky to move the bowl without slicing your fingers, you might have to put some effort into it. Alright. I'm gonna I'm gonna move this bowl, guys, with my might. Oh right, okay, I remember this. So instead of dice of doing dice rolls to check things versus uh your stats or whatever, you have like pools of resources and you can spend uh different amounts to increase the success chance. Yeah. So I've got a base 60% chance, and I have five might that I can, and I can spend up to three might. If I spend three might, it's for sure. If I spend two might, it's, I feel like two is probably good enough. And I think your pools refresh, like, if you rest or whatever. Oh, okay, I think I got it. I'm gonna move that bull! Bitchin'! Well, let me get some of that. Cool. Yeah, how am I alive? Oh. I am kind of digging this background. Oh, I can zoom? Oh, how far can I zoom? Oh, man. Okay, neat. Uh, how do I... Oh! Okay, so I'm the last cast-off, guys. Oh, shit, I have to move the chat box, don't I? Because you're going to interact with the UI. Uh, hang on, let me do that. Alright, you guys are going to live up here now. I need to increase the speed of the mouse drag, that's for damn sure. Uh, let's check out this orb. Rusted door. You've breathed water before. Okay. I'm a, I'm a merman. But this body is an air breather. He's a genius with machines, but he seems distracted. The device in his hands is covered in knobs, wires, and antenna. He believes he can get the two of you through the corroded door, but he's merely staring at it. Perhaps he's lost faith in his invention, but that's hardly your concern. This mission cannot be delayed. It must proceed. Okay. Um, deceive him by telling him you've heard hounds of pursuit, or threaten him, or cast a spell. An esoteric. I do remember there being a lot of weird terms for things, like battles are called crises, and like feats are called fettles or something like that. Uh, I'm usually not a magic man, to be honest. I feel like I'm a, I feel like I'm more of a intellect, persuasive type of guy. Um, let's see what happens. 
Alright, we'll be through the door before they catch up. A dank hallway lies beyond. A passage that links the waterboarded cells and aquatic viewing areas. What you seek lies there. Moments later, you're underwater again, your hands closing around a strange yet familiar artifact. Oh, is that submarine sirens or whatever they're called? Klaxons? I don't know. Uh, an electric current runs through your fingers as your hand crosses the vertical plane of the pedestal, and an iridescent field coalesces so fast that the wave of pressure dazes you for a moment. The rising pulse of a sonar alarm ripples through the water. The guards won't be far behind. Um... Oh, I'm gonna use a device. Yeah, I'm way into ciphers. You run your urgent fingers over the device fastened to your waist, a fog rising in your mind. A few can be used against the guards, but will also turn your skin to synth steel. That sounds dope. Or the surrounding water to boiling wax. Finally, you find a small silver sphere. You kick desperately for the safety of a nearby alcove. The sphere whirls and unfolds into a spiraling vortex. The sphere speaks a few polite words in an ancient language, and then begins draining the surrounding water into itself with alarming speed. The approaching guards shout, then scream as they too are sucked into the whirlpool and ripped to pieces. You allow yourself a smile, but more alarms are going off. Oh, alright. Memory fades. The events within the orb have settled into that gap in your mind, but the edges of it are rough, as though the memory itself is not truly yours. There's something else, a gust of sour air pulling at you like a predator inhaling the scent of its prey. Alright. Man, I wish my memories were this cool. Mine are all like, mmm. Remember that time you ate a gas station sandwich and then had diarrhea for a month? Yeah, I, w I'm w I mean, it's a torment game, so I'm sure they're going to play with amnesia uh, in an interesting way. But I wonder... I feel like torment was really the final nail in the amnesia protagonist coffin. Like, it was the final meta-commentary on that, and... After that, it should never be done again, but we'll see, I guess. Uh, stand beside a woman. Between the two of you is a broad plateau. Strange machines have been built into the cliffside. A metallic disc gleams from the center. Your self-aware humanoid machines drill into the base of the cliffs below. I don't know about this, the woman says. What makes this place any more secure than the other ones we've found? Uh, well, obviously I'm gonna mansplain to this damn bitch. But... How about I charm her instead? Use my Pua techniques. I'm gonna neg her a little bit. Okay. Um, stop, stop. Your servitors are down there. You've already chosen this as the site, haven't you? That's right, bitch. Alright, I'm convinced. Got him. They, they love a, a man who takes control. Uh-oh. You draw one of the constructs away from its task, but it doesn't respond to your voice. When you lay a hand on its shoulder to reinforce your command, it whirls and strikes you across the face. Your companion helps you rise a laughter in her eyes. It seems your construct has other ideas. What's the matter with it? Use the Numenera integrated into the construct's body to overwhelm the behavior malfunction. Uh, I don't know what Numenera is yet, so I don't want to fuck with that. Um, examine it. Look for a deeper solution, you know? Let's really, let's really take a step back here. A mist falls onto the plateau as you wrap a fiber shielding mesh around the construct's skull. The mesh powers up, protecting the construct's mind from any trans-dimensional emissions. Oh god, you thought greenhouse gases were bad. Alright, well I, fix, I fixed the robot. Yep, I'm good at fixing shit. Reclaiming your memories hurts. Once more, there's something else. Hairs lift one by one on the back of your neck. 
something beyond this room can sense what you're doing and is hunting you. Oh dear. Oh. You know, I don't look that dark skinned if we're being honest. I look I look like a white man. Maybe I'm trans black, trans brown. Uh, visions of a city in flames. Her defenders have fought and died all day, but the attackers still keep coming. Oh, what they want is blood. But you have brought a keen-eyed companion to the top of the tower. You need to get her to safety and rally your defenders. Two of the attackers descend from a hovering machine. One is large, his weapon a vibrating axe. Holding a hilt with a sizzling, invisible blade. Shit. Companion backs away. She's too young to help. Uh. Yeah, you gotta Dark Souls this bitch. If it's a two-on-one situation, you gotta just keep that shield up and dodge until you figure out their patterns. Giant is menacing, but the invisible blade of his companion is more worrisome. If you're to save yourself, your best bet is to tackle her first. She's stuck behind the giant, waiting her turn to attack you, unable to bring her weapon to bear. But it's clear that she expects him to handle you, and her eyes rove behind you, focusing on your ward. She's certainly not expecting you to dive between the giant's legs and come up inside her guard. She can't bring her blade to bear in time, and you drive your dagger up under her chin. You catch her before her deadly blade drops onto you and spin her around. The weapon slashes into the giant, and he topples, bisected. Got him! The immediate threat ended. You focus on finding a way back to your allies. The door at the base of the stairs is slightly cracked, and you hear more of the enemy soldiers beyond. Uh, let's, uh, let's Resident Evil this bitch and just peek. Do a little peeking. Press yourself against the door and your breath catches in your throat as it squeaks quietly. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Be cool if, if this was kind of played out, but... Um, the, I, it, this seems like it's leading me to like make my character, right? Like It's giving you like might uh, responses and intellect responses and magic responses. So I'm, I have a feeling at the end of this it's going to be like, here's who you are. Uh, I snuck through. I'm back in my own body. Something's going on with that mirror, which is, I guess, that thing. God, I really like the... The hex... I like hexes, guys, just in general. If you're making a board game, don't make the fucking board be squares. Make it be hexes. Don't be, don't be an idiot. Yeah, I kind of remember this. You see a vast crowd of people, exact doppelgangers of you, shoving and arguing with and fighting each other. Most are drab imitations, but few pull at your attention. Each bears an intricate pentagonal? Pentagonal? Pentagonal. Tattoo on their head. In their actions, you see the memories you discovered within the orbs and the choices you made. Your hand twitches at your side. An even smaller number immediately turn to you, waiting for you to choose them and learn what you might become. Ooh, okay. So I've got some choices. Am I the doppelganger with the charming smile, the clever eyes, the mystical symbol through or on my brow, the one moving stealthily, or the strong-willed one? Hmm. I feel like I'm either charming smile or clever eyes. Not, not IRL, but I mean in this in this situation. Um, how about, I'm gonna go Charming Smile. I wanna get laid in this game, guys. That's what I'm talking about. We're gonna fucking, we're gonna find the first brothel, and we're gonna go ape shit. I'm gonna get all of the magic STDs ASAP. The doppelganger swaggers out of the crowd, speaking in a warm, sincere voice. It tells you an outrageous story, punctuated with confidential asides. 
emphatic gestures, and twists that defy your every expectations. Though you're almost certain this tale is packed with lies, you'd be hard-pressed to separate them from the truth. <laughs> the last cast-off is actually Donald Trump. Maybe that's how I should roleplay. Uh, yep, that's who I am. It's gonna be huge. Nobody plays a better CRPG than me. Uh, the remaining doppelgangers scatter for the edges of the mirror and vanish. Your chosen identity. Oh my gosh, my identity? Already we're getting into this? You wouldn't believe how clever and confident I am. <laughs> the word Jack. Oh, I th oh yeah, I think Jack, there's like three classes. And then every class can be modified by a descriptor. I feel like Jack was the, like, the melee, kind of the rogue class. Doppelganger walks into you, filling you, making you whole. Your decisions ring out in the cavernous room, unlocking mechanisms behind the wall. Something is coming. Oh boy, okay, so that it wasn't even real. Okay, so that was just... That was allegedly a quick way to create a character, but now I think I can probably go back and tweak shit. Okay, right, so the three classes are Glaive, Jack, and Nano. I think Nano is the magic one. Yeah. Nano's mages, wizards, sorcerers, or witches. Nano masters the mystery of the past to the degree that they seem to perform miracles using esoteries. Spell-like invocations that combine gestures, command words, and psychic disciplines. You know what? This makes magic sound kind of cool, actually. Oh, sorry. You guys are fucking on the thing again. I don't know where I can put this chat box and have it not be a problem. How about we try up there for now? Um, yeah. Nano sounds pretty dope, actually. So, why don't we check out the other ones, but I might switch over to Nano. Uh, jacks are intrepid explorers and adventurers, jacks of all trade, right, okay, so jacks are, I bet Glaive is the tech, uh, class. Weapons and armor. Oh, okay. So Glaive is more, I'm gonna say, like, melee, but probably just, like, conventional weapon-focused. Nano is more magic-focused, and Jack is, like, maybe a little bit of both. Uh, I get choose one exploration lore conversation skill plus one training level in that skill while active. Well, I'm not being no jack of all trades. I'm gonna be a fucking nano, guys. That's what I think. Um, so what abilities do I get from that? I get concentration, which I assume means your spell casting doesn't get interrupted. I guess we can look at details. Why am I guessing? Not helpful. <laughs> not helpful. Thanks. Uh, Cypher, I'm gonna guess, is a spell. An onslaught. Or no, esoteries are spells, right? Deal five damage. Confer a minor additional effect. Alright, I feel like I should be a nano. Um, and then I'm a charming nano. Uh, so I can't use heavy weapons or medium weapons, but I can put points into... Concentration, Deception, or Persuasion? Or I can't. I don't think I have any points to spend here. I think it's just saying I get one rank of each of those. Um, okay. Stat pools are the resources you apply to effort to activate or activate abilities. You can distribute points as you see fit. Glaze tend to prefer might and speed, while Nanos prefer intellect. Jack's usually balance. Benefit from a balanced set of points. Um, alright, well, yeah, I feel like I should probably just dump all this shit into intellect. Right? Every two points in intellect increases willpower by 5%. Okay. And willpower is the pool? Or no, intellect is the pool. So what does willpower do again? Shit. I don't know, guys. Uh, it seems fine. Okay, what, uh, what abilities can I get? Scan the thoughts. That seems good. Right? S the surface thoughts of most people or creatures you speak with will appear in conversation. That seems great. That seems like fucking key. Um, 
Gain one training level and cipher use skill. Allows you to carry additional ciphers. Innervate. Removes all negative fettles. Yeah, okay, so fettles are debuffs. I can't remember if buffs have their own. Those might be fettles too, actually. Yeah, negative fettles implies that there are positive fettles, I suppose. So fettles are buffs. Um, that might be good. Quantum step seems legit. Teleport one ally to a point within range. You can just like slingshot your warriors and shit up front. Um, or I can get adaptation. Oh, that's not passive. That's something you have to cast. Um, hmm. I might get adaptation first. I assume I'll be able to get innervate and quantum step later on. Um, okay. Okay, right, so novice train and specialize. And if they're red, that means I have negative penalties. Okay, so if I try to use heavy or medium weapons, I get a negative penalty until I point enough put enough points in them to get rid of the red stuff, I guess. I don't I can't oh okay, I'm choosing exploration. Um I get to just choose one, I assume. Yeah, what do you guys think? I mean, it seems like mystical probably coincides with being a nano, but... I don't know, nanos seem like they might do tech stuff. Like, ciphers sound like technical things, so... Uh... Yeah, I know about physical sciences. Yeah, I'm a I'm a man of science. Even though I cast magic, I'm a man of science. <laughs> I believe there's a scientific explanation for uh, my ability to scan people's thoughts. Uh, okay, so I don't even get a weapon skill. Sucks to be me, I guess. Um, okay, so that was just choosing a descriptor, but now I I can actually look at them. Um, oh wow, so being charming is actually bad for me uh, because it hurts my willpower and intellect pool. <laughs> um, so let's see, I can be cautious. Okay, so each one is like a, a, a positive and a negative. Well, probably I feel like intelligent is is good, right? What's anam, an, anamnesis? Uh, oh, remembering previous consciousness. That sounds pretty good, because I bet that will lead to a lot of, like, oh, I remember being here, and now I can totally avoid this puzzle or combat exp thing. That sounds like that might be helpful. Um, learned gives me healing. Five points per level healed when any healing ability or item is used. That might be helpful. What if I'm really into science? I get another bonus in machinery and concentration. That sounds good, but I'm not good at deceiving. I feel like it's probably important to be able to deceive people. Um, this reduces my running skill. That sucks. I don't. Am I bad at running? Oh yeah. So the combat is turn-based. I remember. So being able to have bad move. Uh, distance is probably not good. Um, persuasion, quick fingers, and endurance. What's endurance? Oh, that's just less health? I could deal with less health for some persuasion and quick fingers, I think. I'm a slick nano. Yeah, that sounds like that might be good. Uh, no point at all in taking anything with weapon skills, I'm gonna assume. Uh, that's bad. That okay? So that would give you extra health and armor, but you can't be very speedy. Oh, I could be an Im intimidation man. Oh, but then I'd lose my fucking machinery point. Yeah, I'm thinking. Um. Oh shit! Well, that's clearly the. I just want to be a guy who swings a big hammer ripped your intellect pool, but enjoy that might shit. 
Yeah, I might be slick. I think I'm gonna be a slick nano. That's what you gotta... That's what you all have to refer to me as from now on. This is our last chance. I think... I think... I feel alright with that. I'm feeling a little bad about Quantum Jump or whatever that ability was called, but I'm gonna get that as soon as I can. Whoa. Is this Stargate? Everything about this spectral figure seems as dreamlike. He breathes a sigh of relief. We weren't sure that would work. We pulled our strength and channeled it through me to reach you, to wake you up. It took more out of them than we thought. The other reflections, they're more like shadows now. Look, I'll bet you've still got a lot of questions. This whole place is basically your mind. Your body's still out there in the real world, healing from the fall. You need to get out there and finish the process. It shouldn't be too hard. Oh, let's ask some fucking questions. Who the fuck are you, space ghost? I'm you, a part of your mind, a splinter. I was waiting here for you. We called you with the memories of the others who were here. I don't know what happened next. Something was hunting me. Do you know what that was? It's a memory I don't want to recall. Large, black, and furious. It's the sorrow. Hope it's lost interest in you. If it finds us, we're done for. Yeah, no shit. This is like, where's Gasper? Is he gonna come out and fucking tell us about... Just don't go in the bucket, whatever you do. Uh... If this place is, yeah, why don't I remember this? If it's my mind, how can it be in my mind and not a memory? A mind is a construct built to share thoughts. Wow. I gotta, I gotta get stoned if we're gonna play this game, I think. It's definitely the first place of your memory. You probably know better since it's yours. Okay. Uh, who are those people? That's what they are. It's your mind. You'll find reflections of people you knew, people you met in the real world, and with whom you shared some kind of psychic connection. Let's finish this process, man. Do you wake up from this dream state and attune to the tides? You'll need to find something called a resonance chamber. Your body should have landed somewhere near it. Just climb inside that and everything will be fine. Okay, tell me about this attuning to the tide thing. Tides are like a force, like gravity or magnetism or something, except they respond to people's actions and perceptions. Your body, that is your body in the real world, needs the tides to survive. It's not something to worry about. Your body will attune as it wakes up. Okay. That's, I, tides are like different, like, mana pools or whatever, like, a mountain or a forest or something. <laughs> yep. It, I'm sure all this will make perfect sense later. So the resonance chamber is a crystal sarcophagus. I think we were aiming for it when we fell. When you open your eyes in the real world, it should be nearby. How do you know all this? I'm a part <laughs> I'm a part of you. I look at you and I just know this place was meant for you, for us. And I remember pieces of knowledge that come to me when you ask your questions. Okay. Thanks, me. How do I get back? There's a portal down there, it'll take you back to your body. Just step through it and the whole tides thing should take care of itself. Find the resonance chamber and activate it. And what the hells is that? Uh oh. Oh shit! Cthulhu's in my mind! That's no good. Oh, is that's the sorrow? Oh shit! He's breaking things. Sorrow's anchored to those reflections. Oh, it stabbed my memories. Destroy its anchors. Oh shit, it's in a crisis time. Okay, uh. Crisis, yeah, crisis begins when you enter into a dangerous situation. Fight, sneak, manipulate the environment, or talk your way out of trouble. One... Okay, so it's like XCOM. You can 
move or fight or fight then move I'm assuming okay I don't have any weapon skills so uh yo do you need to be quantum leapt anywhere oh wow you apply effort to attacks okay Unarm attacks use speed, but other weapons might use miter intellect. Okay. Uh, wow. That was not in the old build that I played. Okay. Uh, let's put two effort into this unarmed attack for three damage. Boom. Wow. Cthulhu, you suck. Your tentacles are. Oh shit. Oh shit. Can I, uh, do I not have any offensive abilities? You sacrifice your action to double move. Okay. Let's see. Wait, what turns purple? The line should turn purple, right? Or is I'm, am I not getting a line because I can't actually get to that? Okay. Oh, okay. So I can move... I can move to like here, and then theoretically I could attack if he was in range. Well, let's. What do I got? Oh, I got onslaught and adaptations of the ability I took, and I can hide. All right, what does onslaught do? Oh, I I remember reading that. Did I? I must have just got that for being a nano. Okay. Uh, five damage plus one per effort applied. Sounds good. When you apply effort to an attack, it increases the damage. Okay. Uh, so I'm at 50%. Two should be good. Boom. Oh, shit. Shit, if this is like torment with fucking XCOM combat, then they may have just made fucking the best game ever. Like, the combat was the worst part of Planescape. Okay. Uh, Range medium. So could I just onslaught him from here? I totally could! I'm not even gonna move! Oh, and I get to select a damage type. Uh, 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 fuck your trans-dimensional ass, the sorrow. Maximum effort. Boom. Nice. I got him. That, that thing is cancer. Tentacles, get out of here. That thing the sorrow has been hunting you. It's what killed you in the first place. It'll keep hunting you until you activate the resonance chamber. Okay, so if I don't get to the resonance chamber, the sorrow is gonna get me. Oh, here's some. Th here's loot. You dropped something. Shimmering glass. Oh, is it a consumable? Oh, nice. Refills all stat pools. I bet that's pretty useful. Yeah. Remember, we're always watching. The red tide. Okay, so the the tides. Are, okay, the tides are like. Uh, Where did he fall from? Oh, we have VO. His body smashed to talk. To talk. No wonder he's still breathing. Oh no, not All fake. I saw was a corona, fantasy not game slang. Point. But look, he's healing already. Spontaneous regeneration. Uh, excuse me, miss. You seem to be having a problem. You need to adjust your rabbit ears. Oh! <laughs> Fuck off. Don't talk shit about me when I'm sleeping. Uh. What did you do, Calisthesia? First thing you notice is this man's kaleidoscope of tattoos writhing across his forearms. Oh, does he have robot arms? Oh, he kinda. he kinda does. Well, maybe not robot arms, but like techno, like Tron arms. 
Cool. He emitted an internal physiological reaction in response to the fall. Probably related to that fantastic healing process. Obviously, Alagurn. Faint echoes of her actions trail from her, each nearly mimicking her, though some act and react to stimuli that you can't perceive. Her vivid hair and outrageous clothing remain constant through these shadows. She does have rainbow hair. He's no ordinary mortal. Oh, I'm scanning Allegren's thoughts. Oh, this seems like the best perk. Why would you not take scanned thoughts? And miss an entire game of dialogue? <laughs> oh. Uh, I'm the changing god. What are you... What's, what's all that about? Now she's just kind of a sarcastic bitch. The changing god may have changed. I'm newly born. Uh, what? Oh, great. So she's a fucking rainbow-haired social justice warrior with headkin. Oh, god. Or headmates, that's what they call them, right? Shit, sorry guys. I'm fucking retarded. Uh, okay. I am a cast-off. The change of God changed you, body and mind. Your sire used your body, then abandoned it. I was born in his cast-off shell. Okay. Who is the changing God? Discovered a path to immortality, a new means to transfer himself to a new body of his own creation. I don't think he knew that when he abandoned one body, another mind was birthed to fill the void. We knew, all right. He sees us as experiments. So I'm not dead, because I was born. Oh, you slowed. You cast slow fall on me. Thanks. You want to live forever. You're not gonna let your life end by accident. No, you'll make strong bodies. Maybe throw in regeneration while you're at it. Doesn't want to wear those scars of yours. Okay. Well, where where's God? Can I talk to God about this? What? God always has a contingency. I've always said this. Uh, I have a tattoo. All cast-offs have one, though its purpose is beyond me. Your delicious naivete. I don't know. I'm not a charming nano. I'm a slick nano. I didn't take any, any lying points. Are you a newborn child, or are you a powerful immortal whom death has robbed of his memories? Whoop, call back! Um, I don't... What if I am the changing god? I, I think I'm probably a cast-off. I mean, my name is the last cast-off, so... Do you not remember sparking the endless battle? Leading Sagus Cliffs against the Tabat when they came to slaughter us centuries ago. Do you not remember me? Nope, sorry, pal. I'm kind of liking Calisthesia, or whatever the fuck, however you say her name. She is rancid, but in a, like a good natured way. Uh, yeah, what was that energy? I've never witnessed the birth of a cast-off. Okay. I think you probably all just got cancer from that. <laughs> Sorry. Are, yeah, are you sure nothing bad happened? T 
tough to find normalcy there. Okay, so these two are an old bickering couple. That's great. Uh, something about the tithes. I'm supposed to get attuned to them or something? Okay. Uh, where are we? A sanctum of your sires. We were able to gain entry because of your grand entrance. Okay. Yeah, I was in... I, I was in, like, some kind of Stargate situation. Oh, thanks. Okay, so they're not gonna... They don't, they don't know anything about my mind palace. <laughs> so that's okay. Um, did I already ask this? I did. Sorry. Are there other... There must be other cast-offs, then. Okay. I'm just the last... I assume last means most recent, not final. Um, I don't know that they do hate the changing god. Like, wasn't Algern, like, saying he wanted to find him? He's gotten away with a load of skist. Okay. Yeah. What can do me in? Degenerative disease... <laughs> You'd be able to survive disintegration, conflagration, you know, all the Asians. Psychic destruction sounds bad, though. Oh! You know this is a memory of the changing god. What about a body that can withstand the sorrow's attacks? No, the thing has no respect for barriers of any kind. Physical, temporal, psychic. This is the only way. Uh-oh. Am I a robot? I feel like I'm a robot. The resonance chamber works. It will give us the power to stop the sorrow's hunt once and for all. We just need the right focal point. A catalyst. A transparent sarcophagus. Oh, that's a resonance chamber. Oh. Oh, we fell into it and broke it? Shit. Well, that's a bit of bad luck. So what does that mean? What were we supposed to do in the resonance chamber? Oh, the sorrow was going to keep coming until we get in a resonance chamber. Well, shit. Disfigurement by the iron wind? That sounds good. I mean, it sounds bad, but it sounds interesting. Yeah, I'm probably not going to ask them about the memory that I just saw. Uh, tell me about the sorrow. Oh. They don't know. They don't know about the sorrow. Uh, do you know how to fix that? I got a quest. The cult of the changing god. Oh, of course. Take him to the insane help. To insane to help a newborn. I would take him to the order of truth. Uh, hell yeah. Oh, okay, so I'm gonna have to pick. Well, I'm leaning very heavily to the Order of Truth. They sound like my kind of people. Knowledge Seekers. Yeah, that sounds good. They don't have all the answers, and I'd not trust them with the Changing God secrets. Ah. Eh. Well, tell me about this cult. I mean, they're called a cult. Like, what do you... They're eccentrics. They're worshippers. I, yeah, I'm not trying to get into any religious stuff, I feel like. Um, and so the order... Okay, so Calistegia wants to take me to the Order of Truth. So I, that seems to be a win-win in my situ in my view. Um, yep, let's go with Calistegia. Sorry, hose before bros, Allegurn. end up with oh, your clothes and broken in a ditch while she laughs it off as a good experiment. It's probably best I come with you. <laughs> Alright. Yeah. What? Okay. Well, she... I mean, she doesn't seem to want to do me harm. Alright, let's go. Okay, I got a party. 
they may not follow you forever. Oh boy. Find items and equipment. Can leave the broken dome using the staircase. Alright. Uh, so how do I... Okay, so do I... I don't even select them. They just follow. Okay, that's probably good. Uh, is there like a hold this button to reveal? Yeah, alright. Tab shows everything. That's great. Transparent synth. Here we go then. Oh, nice. I'm gonna use my quick fingers to get some parts. They can... Oh, okay. So you can get use companions to make the challenges easier. They have their own pools, I'm assuming. Oh, you can just get them to do it for you? Or you could... I could spend a point on everyone, I guess, is what you're saying. Whoops! Well, thank God that worked. I didn't mean to do that. Uh, I got spray flesh. Oh, it's just it's, that's a that's what health kits are called, spray flesh. Okay, that's pretty cool. Yes. Uh, what was it? Tab. Okay. Give me the loot. Uh, I got a shin, which I'm gonna assume is money. And heals so that okay encephalic rush okay so that probably restores your pool of intellect fleet foot moss or short okay um let's look at this thing over here sleep black an image unfolds whoa okay uh hi who are you. Uh, what commands do you recognize? Ugh, don't give me a fucking attitude. <laughs> this is some fucking GLaDOS shit. Uh, what was that arch? Oh shit. Just beat the shit out of this computer? I don't know. Show me it again, I guess. Rectangular cells. Aha, and here's where we're glad I took Amanesis. An anim animanesis. Ammonopia. the last two active cells in the once impenetrable Lugum Vo. Unleash cell 29. Cell 29 is dark. Only cell 0 remains. Is that where we are right now? Aren't we in the broken tower? Okay. <laughs> Should I unleash the contents of Cell Zero? And like get an immediate game over, I'm guessing? Um. A much newer mechanism appears to be giving this intelligence its vocabulary. Uh, yep, alright, what's in cell zero? Oh. Ciphers are Numenera objects that can trigger a powerful effect, but only be used once. Take care not to accumulate more ciphers than your cipher limit, or you will experience unpleasant side effects. Okay. Please be advised that whatever object you're about to receive is completely safe. Use no caution whatsoever. All cells are now vacant, shuddering Lugumvo. Tr 
interesting that a cast off can command the changing gods machines. Yeah, I remembered something, but oh, I can look at the Okay, so this is a cipher which are I guess consumable. They're like scrolls, I guess. They have they do things magical, maybe not magical necessarily, but special things and then they're consumed. Um, okay. That sounds good. What was it saying about don't get too many, though? I don't know. Yeah, I mean, that's exactly what happened, so good call, Algern. Alright, so we killed that machine or something. Uh, anything else in here? Oh, well, we can look Bye. at this, I guess. I don't think we actually looked at the thing. Wouldn't it be great if I could just fix it with my machinery skill right now? And the game is just over? Uh, let's take a closer look at this sarcophagus. Needle-like protrusions. It seems using this chamber would not be pleasant. <laughs> okay. Maybe we shouldn't get in there. I don't like sharp things. Notice your breath is echoing in your ears. Step outside the ring, the feeling passes. Oh, let me get one of them crystal shards though. What does it do? Oh, it's a light melee weapon. Alright. Neat. Okay. So I imagine I need to equip that thing, so why don't we have a look at the old inventory basket. Oh boy. Equipment... Ornaments, uh, rings, amulets, and bonded items. Backpack contains items being carried by the current character. Quest items cannot be discarded or sold. Great. The final section shows the ciphers you're carrying in your cipher limit. Ciphers shown in the inner rings are highlighted in blue and are safe to carry. Those on the outer rings highlighted in orange are over your cipher limit and inflict negative effects as long as you're carrying them. You can use, sell, discard, or transfer them to get back under. Okay. So that's over here. Okay, so my limit is three ciphers, and I have two already. Okay. What happened to that? Uh, oh, it equipped the crystalline shard already. Okay. Cool. I don't have any active fettles. Okay. Is there like a quick item slot or anything? I'm not seeing one. Okay. Got it. Okay, and what do these folks have? alvaron has got some kind, he's got a mace. He's just got a regular ass mace. All right. And a nice coat though. Only usable by him. I was literally about to steal that coat, but <laughs> they thought of it ahead of me. Oh, physics on that dress. And what's she got? She's got a buzzer? What is a buzzer? It's a ranged weapon? Okay. Cool. Okay, and shins are... shins are money. Okay. Cool. No, wait, do they have any ciphers? They don't. Oh, but she's got... These slots are locked for her. And for me. Okay. Oh, because he has, he has a higher cipher limit, so he can put... He can have five... And then these are ones that he could theoretically unlock for a total of eleven. But these will always be orange, I'm guessing? Or bad, or whatever? Okay. Uh... Oh, Alagurn is a nano. And is she a jack? Oh, they're both nanos. 
Oh wow, this is like this feels like some uh some fucking Metal Gear shit. Like in the trailer it would like show Alagurn and his subtitle would be Hardened Nano who fights with his demons. Cunning Nano who pierces reality. What am I? I'm just the slick nano. Okay. Oh, okay. So the so tides are like your alignment. But it's more complicated than like good or evil. It's like your ideals and shit. That's interesting. Okay. And tier is your level. Okay. All right, we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out as we go. Um, all right, I guess we're gonna leave this place. You need to talk to me. Whoa, what's happening here? Okay. You better tell me about these fucking sci fi dreidels going on over here, but. This is the reef of fallen worlds, kid. It's a dangerous place at the best of times. And with you lighting up the sky as you fell, well, we should get out of here as soon as possible. Sounds good, dude. Why doesn't Calisthesia get a voice? Um, t yeah, talk to me about your cool arms. My gift and curse. Okay. Why is it dangerous? The Numenera of the past are always dangerous. Yeah, what's a Numenera? Numenera are all around you, everything left over from the prior world. Sega's Cliffs thrives by trading artifacts from ancient civilizations. You can't scoop a handful of Earth without finding Drit from prior worlds mixed within it. Okay, so like artifacts? A lot of the Numenera are just oddities, fancy trinkets with little real use. But sometimes you'll get a cipher that lets you do something incredible. Oh, artifacts are a specific thing. A cipher that will only do something once, but artifacts last a lot longer. <laughs> okay. A propulsion unit for a star chariot. All right, cool. Uh, yeah, what's your story, Alagurn? All right, sounds good. Um, anything of Calisthesia? A parasite disguised as a Skalark. Don't be surprised if she betrays you before the day is done. <laughs> Gonna fix that crystal chamber back there and get out of the reef. Sounds good. Alright. Maybe we should get Calisthesia's side of things. Watch your steps, child. This is not a place to walk lightly. There are dangers in the reef. Both old and new. Yeah, that's what Allegorn was saying. Yeah, tell me about your uh, your headmates. Yep. Okay. I like them crazy, so this is kind of doing it for me. Uh, <laughs> I didn't. I didn't type in my name. All right, I think that's probably a sign. Promise of treasure for the determined, but not always for the scrupulous. <laughs> that's kind of life. That's what you're describing is not just the reef. That's how life works. Um, yeah. What's? How did you get a? Uh, how did you get like that? Okay, no one wants to talk to me about their past right now. Uh, why is the chamber here? All right, let's keep going. I gotta know about the space dreidels. Is this a new Manera? I'm gonna watch these space dreidels.
Oh, easy. Easy every time to touch a space dreidel. Rorn. Good woody sort of word. Rorn. <laughs> Huh, are these like the sensory stones in Torment? Yeah, what's what's going on here? What's all this then? What are you for? These fucking space dreidels are making a mockery of me. Sometimes they don't do a damn thing that makes sense. Let me try talking to him again. Okay, <laughs> alright. Fair enough. Uh, okay. So we're going up these stairs, or... Oh, there's some shit over here. Oh, shit. Okay, we got some shin, some more moss, and an, an elutriated force. All right. Here we go, then. Oh, what's all this? These... These... This is a tree that looks like hands. Metallic tendrils. Okay. Alright, I'm gonna break this metal tree. Oh, maybe I should get Alagurn to pony up some might for this bitch. Nailed it. Thanks, bud. Oh, I got an eight-fingered mace. Okay. Neat. Is that better than uh, than your mace, Alagurn? Yours is four plus two damage per effort, and this is four, three chemical damage. Would you like uh, an upgrade, buddy? All right. Without doubt. Let's do it. Oh, there's something up here now. In this world, then. I'm a bubbling mass of sludge. This is probably sentient space sludge. What is this? Stuff I can't click on. Notice the globule contains something. Be it a shining core. Aha, that machinery lore. Okay. Gimme give gimme give the the shit. Seems like it would make sense to use other people's points before mine, yeah? I got fresh vapors. Okay, so that heals your intellect and gives you a positive fettel called fresh vapors. Cool. Oh, I'm not immensely lucky. I know how to use my might points, lady. As you wish. Okay. Collecting black goop. Sounds legit. All right, what do we got? More in in encephalic, encep encephalic, encephalic rush. Elutriated force. God, they really named some fucking things in this game, didn't they? Uh, is, I don't know if this is where I'm supposed to go, but we can knock on this guy's house, I guess. Stage of the bumps is unique. Let me knock on this door. They've been for thousands of years. Okay. Alright. Weird. 
Y'all got any more of that elutriated force, though? Oh, shit. What's up here? Is this the Black Omen? I knew someone who did what you're about to do. Aeon Priest. A beam came out the top of that thing and ripped his face off. Hey, I sure you know what you're doing. Uh, yeah. How about we give it that crystal shard? Boom. Is that good? Did that upgrade my thing? Now it's an infused crystalline shard. Nice. Things are going all right. I got a mace. I got a fancy weapon. Fine. Okay, so that's where I came from. So what's down here? All right. So I guess we're going up. Of course. Oh, yes. a companion cube. All right. Oh god, there's shit everywhere. Doing it now. Uh-oh. Is this a crisis? Oh, he knows, he knows that I fell. And he knows Calisthesia. Yeah, I'll let you two sort this out. Bet you lying. What are those gloves for? Oh, I didn't even look at him. His hand is... weird. Hmm. Alright. Uh, I feel like telling people I fell out of the sky is probably bad. Oh. Shit. Can anyone lie for me? Alright, Allegurn's a good liar, apparently. Nailed it! Whoops. Okay. Yeah, I'm a fantastic liar. That's kind of weird. I thought that was like a have them do the action for you, but I don't know. So I feel like I probably just avoided a combat encounter there. A crisis, if you will. Mm, I don't know. I scanned her thoughts and she seemed... She seemed surprised. Nah, I mean, you're not wrong, but you are wrong. Yeah, come on, folks. Oh, man, Allegrin's going his own way. Oh, fuck. Their mom and dad are breaking up again. Yeah, just work your shit out. Uh, 
Well, I'm gonna go with calesthesia. Cause you seem like a paranoid fucker. Find you in the underbelly. Alright, dude. Peace, Allegern. Continue on to the city of Sagus Cliffs. Alright. As you wish. Oh, what's this? A loose lens. Oh, Jesus, there's just all kinds of random shit. A lambent green fluid. Oh, I bet I could have used these in the combat encounter. Interesting. Okay, that's kind of neat. Naturally. Holds the ancient weapon. Oh, hold! It's a it's a weapon. Not it doesn't contain a weapon. Okay. Yes, child. Fascinating. Interesting. Okay. Well, how long have we been going? Um, it's ten. I start around eight thirty. All right. Well, maybe we'll call it here for uh for this episode. I don't know how long these episodes should be. I was thinking maybe an hour, hour and a half. Um, I definitely want to keep playing more, but I figure I should probably space these out a little bit. And I definitely have plenty of other games to play, so. Uh, yeah, why don't we save it, and, uh, we'll call this the inaugural episode of, uh, of this full play. So, uh, yeah, seem, seems interesting. I'm super excited to see, uh, what this game has to offer and where things might go from here. Um, yeah, I, I'm excited. I hope it, it lives up to its namesake and, and my expectations, so... Uh, I'll probably be doing maybe one or two of these episodes a week. I don't know. Y you let me know how much of this you want, how quickly. Um, hit me up on Twitter at underscore Myriad Trues, and we'll play with it a bit as we go along. But, uh, yeah, for now, we'll call it call it a day. So thanks for watching, guys. See you next time. Bye.